Miss DM's room, H402. Don't forget to stop by. Oh my god, I love talking. I should go. Yeah, I'll see you there, sons. On another note, after school today in the Library Media Theater from 315 to 415, there will be multiple guest speakers from Nepal. They will be speaking about their experiences and the women's caste system, so don't miss out on the special opportunity. Freshmen, listen up. Freshman seminar is back. If you are free today, make sure to head over to H301 with your laptop for the first half of the period. Next up is Poetry Slam. If you're in the mood for, for some entertaining poetry, head to the library today after school to hear our guest speaker. And if you'd like to take part in the Poetry Slam, sign up at the main circulation desk in the library. Last but not least, if you're looking to get bit, House of Pain will run today after school from 3.15 to 4 in S201. If you can't make it today, House of Pain runs on Thursday too. Sign up with any of the leaders or simply email Ms. Pong to reserve your spot. Also remember you can buy t-shirts and bracelets today outside of the high school office to support cancer treatment for Addie Napierski, who is in middle school here at SAS. We are lucky to have our brother Austin with us this morning for Coffee With. That's all we have for you today, SAS. Have a tremendous, turbulent, totally, turn Tuesday. Tuesday. Good morning. This is Coffee With Anthony Sadler and Jamila Adams. And today we have a very special guest, Austin Napierski. Hi, Austin. How are you? Good. Great. How long have you been in Singapore? I've been in Singapore for about four months now, and I've moved from Salt Lake City, Utah. So what kind of person is Adi? Adi is the type of person that she doesn't care about herself. She cares about other people first, and if anybody's going to win this battle, it's going to be her. How did she find out she had cancer? Um, she'd been having stomach pains for a while, and then just so she went in for an MRI after a bunch of other tests didn't show anything and they found a small mass and long story short it was cancerous and so she's back now getting treatment for it. So um, is she back in the US now? Yeah she is. She's at Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake on her second round of chemo. Why, why is lime green for lymphoma? Uh, lime green for lymphoma is kind of like the pink for breast cancer. Um, each cancer has their own color and lime green is the one for her type of lymphoma. So how did the whole lime green t-shirt bracelet fundraiser start? Um, it's been going on in the States for a while and uh, my neighbor Becky Danes wanted to bring it to Singapore and so she ordered a lot of shirts and so now and she's been selling them for the past couple weeks and now they're here at SAS where can you vote? Where can students buy a green t-shirt? Uh, outside the high school office today. And to, I think today's the last day they're showing them at school, so. Okay, well Austin, um, that's all we have time for today. We just want to say we're completely with you. Um, I just want to ask if there's anything else you'd like to add. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's given Addie and my family and myself support through all this. Thank you. Thanks.